The clerk will report the motion. Motion to proceed to calendar number 311, S. 1813, a bill to reauthorize the Federal Aid Highway and Highway Safety Construction Programs and for other purposes. I have a cloture motion at the desk, Mr. President. The clerk will report the motion. Cloture motion. We, the undersigned senators, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 22 of the Standing Rules of the Senate, hereby move to bring to a close the debate on the motion to proceed to calendar number 311, S. 1813, a bill to reauthorize federal aid highway and highway safety construction programs and for other purposes, signed by 17 senators. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that reading the names be waived. Without objection. I ask consent that the mandatory quorum under Rule 22 be waived. Further, that the cloture vote on the motion to proceed to S. 1813 occur at 2 p.m. Thursday, February 9th. Without objection. I ask consent that we now proceed to executive session to consider calendar number 545, that the nomination be confirmed, the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid on the table. There be no intervening action or debate. No further motion to be in order to the nomination. Any related statements be printed in the record that the President be immediately notified of the Senate's action and the Senate then resume legislative session. Without objection. I ask consent that we now proceed to S. Res 369. The clerk will report. Senate Resolution 369, congratulating the New York Giants for winning Super Bowl 46. Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the measure. Those Roman numerals can be hard. <laughs> Mr. President, I ask consent that the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, the motion we consider be laid on the table with no intervening action or debate, and any statements placed in the record be as if given. Without objection. All right. There's a bill at the desk that's due for its first reading. The clerk will read the title of the bill for the first time. S-2079, a bill to extend the pay limitation for members of Congress and federal employees. I ask for a second reading in order to place the bill on the calendar under the provisions of Rule 14, but then I object to my own request. The bill will be read the the second time on the next legislative day. I ask unanimous consent to Senate adjourn until 9.30 a.m. Thursday, February 9th, 2012, that following the prayer of the Pledge Journal proceedings be approved to date. The morning hour be deemed expired, and the time for the two leaders be reserved for the use later in the day. Following any leader remarks, the Senate be in a period of morning business until 11 a.m. The Senator is permitted to speak for up to 10 minutes each, with the time equally divided and controlled between the two leaders or the designees with the majority controlling the first half, Republicans controlling the final half. Following that morning business, Senate resumed consideration of the motion to proceed to the Surface Transportation Bill. Without objection. Mr. President, the next vote will be at 2 p.m. on Thursday. If there is no further business come before the Senate, ask to adjourn under the previous order. The Senate stands in adjournment until 9.30 a.m. Thursday, February 9th. So the Senate's gaveled out after members spent the entire day delivering speeches on the floor.